In Queens, a woman is dead and a truck driver is behind bars after a terrible crash this morning. As CBS 2's Diane Maceda reports, people in the area say that they're afraid it might happen again. This intersection in Maspeth is no stranger to truckers and cyclists, but today that was a deadly combination as a tractor trailer and woman on a bike collided around 8.45 this morning. Police say the truck was traveling westbound on 56th Road and making a right on 48th Street when he hit the cyclist. You can still see the truck's blinker. Emergency responders rushed the victim to Elmhurst Hospital where she died about an hour later. Meanwhile, police arrested the driver for allegedly driving with a revoked license. Other drivers who work in the area say that's a serious violation. Being arrested is what he deserves if he's driving without a license. Yeah, you know, it's probably why you know what happened to this woman happened. Didn't know how to drive it probably. As a truck driver yourself, how serious of a violation is that? It's a big violation. It's a big. He's in a lot of trouble. But you got drivers out here that just don't care and just want to put a dollar in their pocket and do what they got to do. It's sad, you know, that you know, just kill somebody. He'll never drive again. So, you know, you got to think about those things. Your license get revoked, then, you know, you stay off the road. They also say this area is particularly dangerous. It's extremely chaotic here in the morning. You know, everybody's speeding through the lights here. You got the trucks that are coming through here. And many people on bikes as well, like Daniel Salvatierra, who says he often worries about his own safety. You always have cars not really paying attention to you, making turns when you're right next to them, pulling into like parking spots. Yeah. That's terrifying. It could have been me. You know, I'm not even wearing my helmet right now. Police say charges against the driver are pending. In Maspeth, Queens, Diane Macedo, CBS 2 News. And neighbors tell us the victim was a single mother with a young son. We are not identifying her at the moment because her family has not been notified.